Today, I want to talk about the message that the Lord gave to me. The message of today is titled Pornography, Loss of Dominion, and How Satan Uses It Against You. That means against humanity. A lot of people believe in prayer. A lot of people believe in prosperity, in faith. But the truth is that a lot of people fail to understand that this world is a planet God established and handed the dominion over to man. And there is a certain way God expects man to live his life. Before man was put here, Satan was already here. The way man lives determines if he's going to be victorious or not. Hello, welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There are some messages the Lord has revealed to me that I want to be passing out to the public, especially to the body of Christ. And I really want you to listen to these messages over and over and grab everything. Then also, I do post these things on my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com. You can go and read for yourselves, even on the revelations and some teachings and some of the answers the Lord has helped me to provide to those who have questions. And in case you have any question, feel very free to write me, contact me, or you need prayers. I'll be able to pray with you. It is free of charge. I don't charge. Freely we receive, freely we give. That is what the Bible says. There are rules guiding this world. If you break them, there are consequences. A lot of times God forgives us our sins, but the consequences of what we have done most times remain. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 8, He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaketh an hedge, a serpent shall bite. The one who makes a hole, in a wall, in a fence. If you make a hole, you create a place, an avenue for the serpent to come in and bite. In Psalm 119, 119 verse 67 says, Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. There are rules that God has put in place. There are principles, there are guidelines, there are commandments that govern this particular earth. For instance, the sea will in no wise in any day just overstep its boundary and kill every human being in the world. It doesn't work like that. Satan too cannot just appear from nowhere, even though he lives on earth and just start killing everybody. It doesn't work like that because he has his own limits. Even though he has some level of wisdom that he retained when he was thrown down. His wisdom wasn't taken away from him. Even though he has some levels of supernatural power, he has his own limit. There are things he cannot do. He is restricted by the laws of God. When God created man, he handed dominion over to man. That man should have dominion and rule this earth. That man should occupy it and rule over it. That dominion, that is our victory. That is our authority. And for Jesus Christ to come into this world, he had to become man because it is only man that is given the dominion to rule on earth. So for Jesus Christ to come, he has to become man. The word became flesh. One of his favorites title is the son of man he calls himself the son of man telling us that i am man i'm not a stranger i have the dominion to walk on this earth and to do these things so god came in form of man so that he doesn't break his own word so that he can do whatsoever thing he wants to do to rescue man and at the same time not break his own word because he has already given the dominion to man. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this, I'm explaining because a lot of people don't actually understand their position in the world. Let's 
go into the message. I'm going to be explaining as we go through the message. This is a message that the Lord gave to me on the 9th of July, 2024. Before I go into the message, I want to read a few lines from the message the Lord gave me on the 19th of June, 2024. Every nakedness that is captured by a camera violates the honor and privacy of sex and mankind. This violation gives demons the right to infest such material to weaponize it against mankind. This is why Satan encourages people to expose their nakedness and also promote nakedness. This is a message I'm going to deliver. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. There are messages that I'm going to be releasing that the Lord has given to me. I saw a comment that someone said, uh, stop saying you got a message from God. You are not a prophet. <laughs> I don't need to call myself a prophet. I call myself brother. I'm brother Hosanna David. I don't actually use that title for many reasons. People have spoiled the prophetic ministry, but the work of God I do should tell if I'm a prophet or not. I don't make money off it. I don't tell people to sow seed. I've never told anybody to sow seed into my life. This is what you people call prophets. When someone says, oh, I'm a prophet, I prophesy to you. I don't do all that. I don't do that. If you go to my other YouTube channel, which is a prophetic channel, an end time prophetic channel, you will see prophecies that the Lord has given to me even before coronavirus came. Even the mass death that is going on right now, which a lot of people don't know because it's not carried by the mainstream media. A lot of people don't know. These are things, including sicknesses, spike in cancer. These are messages the Lord has given to me. You can go to Eagle Eye Opener, at Eagle Eye Opener. You can visit it and, and listen to those messages. Revelations, warnings from God. And also, you can visit my website, eagleeyeopener.com. You will see this message. I don't need to say I'm a prophet or brag myself about. If what the Lord has spoken to me comes to pass, people will believe. Not just that too, but by my lifestyle, by the way I live my life, if I am a prophet or not. So I'm just taking my time to explain this because a lot of people have this hardened heart. If you don't live the life of a big man and you appear to be very, very superior and uh, respectful in your dressing and use bogus words, boastful words, and be commanding in your presentation, some people will never believe you. But that is not what the Spirit of God in me wants me to do. I have to be humble. I have to present myself in a very humble way. Okay, let's go to the message. This is a message. You can check the description box. You will see the link. I gave men glory and dominion. This is my own endowment that crowns him as my true representative in the world. Satan steals these two things from men through different means, one of which is sexual immorality. Anyone who sells his or herself as a slave and gives up their dominion is treated like a slave. Satan tricks the children of men to do things that reduce them to slavery. Pleasure was created for men to gladden his heart and to make him merry. But this is the very thing that Satan has weaponized against my beloved children. Who is wise among them? Who will listen? who is ready to equip themselves with wisdom and knowledge from above so that they can live a victorious life. Such a person must obey the three rules of privacy. I never knew that there are rules of privacy until I got this message from the Lord. Number one, the sacredness of human nakedness. Number two, lust. Number three, promotion of pornography and indecency. Let me read what the Lord revealed to me. 
one the sacredness of human nakedness human nakedness is sacred exposing it to the public equals the remover of a crown from the head of a king those who exposed their nakedness sell their dominion i used my hands to cover the nakedness of adam and eve after they fell i covered their shame and disgrace whosoever removes this covering to expose their nakedness violates their own bodies whoever drops his or herself below the standard i place them exposes his or herself to satan's attacks and influences one of the things a lot of people don't know is that when man fell after man ate the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil they realized that they were naked it was actually god who clothed them god used the skin of an animal to clothe them and he made for them garments of skin read genesis chapter 3 verse 21 the bible says that unto adam and unto eve god made the garments of skin and clothed them remember when god entered the garden adam and eve were not totally naked because according to the level of their wisdom and the urgency they gathered fig leaves they made some level of coverings they made aprons from fig leaves and covered themselves but god knew that these people are carrying his glory these people are his representatives on earth so he had to get coats of skin and cover them god cover them what the holy spirit reveals to me here is that he used his hands to cover adam and eve he said whosoever whosoever removes this covering whosoever exposes their nakedness reduce themselves whosoever removes this covering violates their own bodies let me tell you something the day Esau said oh is it just because of my birthright you can have it is it not birthright you can have it just give me food i'm dying he said it with the word of his mouth but he lost things when people think that it doesn't mean anything in the spirit world it means a lot how could you explain that just confessing jesus christ as your lord and personal savior just confessing him with your mouth after you have believed with your heart that you will be saved but this is how it works confession of mouth is important what we do our actions they are very important when people get initiated they are initiated by them carrying out some level of actions if you go into different kingdoms they have things kings and princes princesses they have things they don't do there are things they forbid in some kingdoms a king cannot you cannot see the crown of his head i mean the bay head you can see the bay head in some kingdoms there are things that are forbidden that if it is done the king could be dethroned it is only in christianity we see people who believe that they can do anything and get away with it some people don't even understand that there are laws there are principles that govern this earth if you break them you suffer there are consequences for actions even if they are done in ignorance that is the truth so when people go about naked they drop themselves below the level that god has placed them we have dominion and as people who have dominion there are things we must do and there are things we must not do let's go to the second one lust 
You must not lust after the nakedness of another person. Those who feed their hunger for sex with the nakedness of a strange woman or a strange man reduce themselves and they cannot be free from demonic attacks. Those who prostitute themselves and all those who patronize them are all guilty. Can a prostitute resist the entrance of a demonic spirit? Has she any strength to say no to Satan when she is already a slave to him? All those who patronize prostitutes become one flesh with them. Making yourself one flesh with a prostitute is dangerous because it reduces you to the same level of the prostitute. This is a powerful weapon Satan uses to quench the fire of God's children. Satan understands that many of you, that means God's children, Satan understands that many of you will never sleep with a prostitute physically. Hence, it brings them to your secret chamber to reduce and deceive you. The scene of pornography is not less than sleeping with a prostitute physically. Pornography has become cancer in our society. If you see the statistics of those who are addicted to pornography, it's, it's enormous, it's huge, it is overwhelming. It is a drug that Satan is using. Remember the title of this message I received from the Lord is pornography, loss of dominion, and how Satan uses it against you. These are things that make people to lose their dominion. If you are on fire for God, no witch can press you. There are powers that cannot come across your path. But when this fire goes down, Satan can then patch on you. Demons can then afflict you. Let's look at this number two. He said those who feed their hunger for sex with the nakedness of a strange woman or a man, a strange man reduce themselves. Let me take my time to explain some things. Some people call it adult entertainment industry, but this is not about entertainment. It is not an industry. Pornography is a branch of hell. This is what Satan uses to capture the children of God. Let me tell you one of the things that Balak did. When Balaam was invited to curse the children of Israel, he couldn't. But there was so much at stake. When he, whenever he climbed the mountain to curse the children of God or to bless them, the Holy Spirit would take over his mouth. He would speak the mind of God. But when he was leaving, he told Balak, he said, I know their God. Now let me tell you what you need to do. Take some of these beautiful women, young ladies, let them go with some of the idols from your land. Mingle with the children of Israel. Commit sexual immorality with them. I know their God. Their God will kill them for you. So Balak did it and succeeded. When this happened, God killed 24,000 of the children of Israel, his beloved children. Let me read. Please continue to listen to this because this could just be your deliverance. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Revelation chapter 2 verse 14. But I have a few things against thee because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. This is it. Satan tricks the children of God to do the things that offend God so that the glory of God can depart from them. 
and then he can then come and strike. Remember the Psalm 119 we read. It says, before I was afflicted, I went astray. Now listen, Numbers chapter 25 verse 1 says, And Israel abode in cheating, and the people began to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab, and they called the people unto the sacrifices of their God. And the people did eat and bowed down to their gods. And Israel joined himself unto bad poor, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel. This is what happened. Now, read Numbers chapter 31, verse 16. Let me just read it. Behold, these caused the children of Israel through the counsel of Balaam, Balaam the prophet, that couldn't curse the children of Israel. He gave their secret out that these people, they have a God. Their God is a holy God. If you want to take away their protection, push them against their God, and God will kill them for you. This is what is happening to a lot of Christians. Nothing is going forward. No business is moving. You are not having children. Your marriage is crashing. You have sexually transmitted diseases of which some of them are spiritual. You have too many problems. You are oppressed. You can't sleep in the night. Too many diseases. Something happened before Satan was able to gain access into your life. One of the biggest ways, one of the biggest doors that the devil opens into people's lives today, he tricked people to open it into their own lives today, is pornography. Behold, this caused the children of Israel through the counsel of Balaam to commit trespass against the Lord in the matter of poor. And there was a plague among the congregation of the Lord. This is the same trick Satan is using today. A Christian brother who cannot go out to sleep with a prostitute can sleep with 10 prostitutes. In his secret chamber. How? With the internet. With digital media. Downloadables. With cassettes. Today, the devil projects pornography to the face of God's children. I have websites. People come to a Christian website and send links. They go to the contact pages and send pornographic links to seduce God's children. Today, pornography is everywhere. I saw a video of a fat woman and a slim man having sex on Facebook, totally naked. I reported the video. Even though their private parts were not exposed, but they were naked and they were having sex. Facebook got back to me and said it did not violate their terms and conditions but this is nudity this is sex this is the world we are living in right now satan wants every single person to be drunk with sexual immorality that is exactly what the lord revealed to me in one of the revelations he gave me we have to be wise as god's children the scene of pornography is the same as sleeping physically with a prostitute and when he says that all those who patronize prostitutes become one flesh with them making yourself one flesh with a prostitute is dangerous because it reduces you to the same level of the prostitutes this is true if you read matthew chapter 5 verse 27 to 32 you will understand very clearly that Fornication or adultery is not just a physical act. If you lust in your heart to the point of having a passion for someone in your heart, is considered adultery. It is the adultery of the heart. Let me tell you one thing. One thing a lot of people don't understand. It is not in the sex organs that people have sex. It is in the brain. The brain is the machine, is a computer that controls all the activities of the body. So the fact that your sex organs were not involved physically 
with the other person's sex organs doesn't mean that you have not committed adultery or fornication. We have to understand this. Matthew chapter 5, verse 27, following says, Have you not heard in time of old that it was said, Thou shalt not commit adultery, but whosoever look at a woman so as to have a passion for her in his heart has already committed adultery with her? Where? In his heart, not with their sex organs. We have to understand these things. Knowledge is power. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Listen, let me tell you. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15 says, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. This is it. The harlot may not be physically present with you. But the same gratification you are supposed to get from her or from him physically, if you can get that same gratification, lost after her in your heart, your body chemistry changes, your body and your spirit welcomes her, you become one flesh with her. Let's continue. Verse 16, what know ye not that he that is joined to one harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. This is a rule. This is a law that whosoever you join yourself to, you become one flesh with the person. That is why we have something that is called soul tie. You are tied together. Let's not be deceived. When you watch pornography and you lust after the person and you may masturbate, you may not masturbate, but so long as you watch it, you desire it, you are aroused, you become one flesh with the person. You bring yourself. It reduces your spiritual immunity and your authority, your dominion in Christ, it reduces your dominion as a human being that is a representative of Christ. There are things ambassadors must not do. If you are representing your country in a foreign land, there are things you must not do. And when you say something, when you say something as an ambassador, for instance, if you say that our country supports you, your country will be quoted. But it is just one man that says it. We have so much dominion to the extent that Matthew 18, 18 says that whatsoever thing we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatsoever thing we lose on earth is lose in heaven. Satan tries to steal this dominion from us. And by the time he brings you to the point of joining yourself with a prostitute you become one flesh with a prostitute that reduces your spiritual immunity if satan wants to get something from the burning fire and couldn't get it if he succeeds in quenching the fire he can go there what will be left will be the firewood he can go there and pick it this is how a lot of people's lives have been reduced the things that were not happening to you can now happen. Now you no longer remember your dreams. Now things want to happen, God no longer speaks to you. It is because you have reduced yourself to the level of a prostitute, a slave. Whosoever commits sin is a slave to sin. Sin is a power of the devil. Let us read this passage. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 56 it says the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law satan has no power but if you read verse 57 he said but thanks be to god which gave it 
us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came and gave us of power over death. First John chapter 3 verse 8 says, He that committed sin is of the devil, is in the bondage of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. This is it. A lot of people teach you how to pray. They teach you how to reign in dominion. But they forget that so long as you have no power to control your body and live above sin, you cannot have that dominion. That is the truth. The Bible says that Jesus Christ will deliver his people from their sins. Let us read Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And he shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. For you to have dominion, you have to be delivered from sin, because sin is a power of the devil that he holds against you. Jesus Christ said, the prince of this world cometh, but he has nothing in me. Why? Because he has nothing to hold against Jesus. Satan is free to come. But so long as he has nothing to hold against me, he's powerless. Just like until Adam and Eve ate the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, Satan was powerless. Let's continue with the message. Number three. Promotion of pornography and indecency. All those who promote all forms of nakedness reduce themselves to the level of a slave. Then he said to me, My son, warn all those who sell the wares of male and female prostitutes. Those of you who sell clothes, the ungodly ones, don't sell them. Because if the producers produce them and nobody advertises them, as a matter of fact, some people may not know that there are such clothes in the market. Christians must not promote indecency. I am the owner of godly dressing. Godly dressing. That is one of the branches of my ministry. At Godly Dressing. The website is godlydressing.com. I see a lot of Christians arguing. It doesn't mean anything what you put on. So you can make people lust after you and you believe that there are no consequences. It is a lie. That is a pure lie. Please, we live in a world of social media. Don't like any post that contains indecency. If you like it, if you share it, you are promoting it. The algorithm will be in favor of that post. And then we keep suggesting it to other people. Let's continue. My son, one all those who sell the wares of male and female prostitutes, they are abominations to the Holy God. They are like those who do not travel, yet they prepare both vehicles and the passengers ready for their journey. They are also guilty of the same sin. All those who support immoral dressing, both in the church and in the world, are all guilty of the same sin. All those who praise sexually immoral people are also guilty. They reduce themselves to the level demons can access and also attack them. These are the warnings from the Lord. Let those who have ears hear. I am not here to make you happy. I'm not here to tell you the things you want to hear. I am here to speak the mind of God. If 
if you know me over the years, you will know that I am not the type that will tickle your ear with a sugar coated message. For those of you who want to hear my preachings, you can visit tnwcfen.org, the narrow ways Christ for all nations. The Jesus I preach is the Jesus Christ of the narrow way. It's not the Jesus of the broad way. The narrow way is Christ for all nations. Every Sunday, I post videos. If the connection is good, internet connection is good, I stream videos live. And you can also subscribe to eagleeyeopuna.com. And those of you who haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. There are more messages, more teachings that are coming. Do not reduce yourself to the level of those who are destroying this world. Demons like people who expose their flesh, people who expose their nakedness in public. Don't reduce yourself to that level. The God we serve is a holy God. The Bible does not just want those who do these evils, but he also one those who support them, those who promote them, those who praise those who are doing evil. Let us repent of our sins. Remember that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. We are on a journey to our eternal home. All this battle we see, pornography, nakedness, sexual immorality, all these things we see, they are battles that have been launched against our souls against the human soul let us be watchful and know that satan has no power he has no power the power of satan is sin if you know how to live above sin satan we have nothing in you even if he comes to you please share this video with someone and subscribe to this channel those of you who do not go to church please look for a bible believing church to attend Please share and recommend this channel to other people. Share, like this video so that YouTube can recommend it to other people. Thank you and God bless you. I want to tell you that there is a, an important message that the Lord has given to me about those who live in places where sexual immorality is high. There are spiritual implications. That message is going to give you a lot of information. Then. Also, let me just tell you, there is another message, the effects of pornography in marriage and in the, in the life of a single person. That is a message the Lord has also given to me. He also gave me another important message. It is titled, Warning from God about sharing of nude pictures and videos. If you have a fake picture that got leaked out, or a nude video, what are you supposed to do? If your videos are out there, what are you supposed to do? He gave me this message to warn people, the spiritual implication of this thing, and even uh, showing your nakedness on video. These are smart technology, but they are not powerful enough to screen demonic intervention or interference out. Satan understands technology more than you and I. He has a way of capturing things. He can dive into the space and capture information and decode information. You don't just think that, oh, it is private, the messaging app is encrypted. Demons can access any form of encrypted network that is the truth the only thing you need to do is be wise human beings may not be able to access it but if you break the rule if you break the hedge serpent a serpent will bite you thank you and god bless you see you next time bye bye